I try to do is that a kind of, I've tried to create a map here. Let's try to study this map. Um, remedies for hyperactive children. And, and I'll try to give you a little idea about uh, different, different remedies and uh, commonest ones and, and the ones that we more often use. One of the most commonest remedies that you will see in your practice. Yeah. Let's see, we'll start from here. Very commonly would be solanaceae remedies, remedies like Belladonna, Stramonium, Hyosimus, you can see here. But you will see a lot of history of fright in these cases. You could also find insect remedies like Apis, Cantharis. Yes, but you will see a lot of allergies, a lot of comparison, jealousy, things like that. We already spoke about the lily family with Paris Quadrifolia, Cypripedium, Viratrum. <clears throat> Zincum salts also come, can come very often in such kind of cases. But there is often a history of vaccination side effects. Um, and they have, typically their feet are more restless than hands. In Cuprum, you will very often see some kind of jerks and spasms. Yeah. Nozodes can also be very useful, like medorinum, tuberculinum, bacillinum, syphilinum. But you will see a background, a miasmatic background in these cases. A miasmatic background of psychotic miasm background, tubercular miasm background. You will see something like that. We also spoke about, we'll also talk about a little bit about labiati family, that is. Cucrium marum varum, very important remedy also. But, but very often in Cucrium marum varum, you'll see history of worms as one of the very important keynote. So this is a map. I'm going to share this map with all of you for you to differentiate and um, help as many patients as, as, as possibly you can.